Hey everybody, I'm Andy. Welcome back to Chronic Woodwork. Today is episode three of my series of videos on how to build a cedar strip canoe. Today I'm going to show you how to steam bend and glue the stems and actually shape them to our mold stations, the stem mold station. I'm super excited, got my boat shoes on. It's going to be a good one, so hang tight. Here we go. project began with me separating the stem molds. I attached them to a table with my parallel bar clamps, took a measurement, and just covered them with some packing tape. I then put my six pieces of lumber into my steam box. My steam box is just a simple uh, two inch PVC pipe that's slightly longer than the length of my wood, and I steam these pieces of wood for about 20 minutes. The rule of thumb is one hour for every inch of thickness. My pieces are a quarter of an inch thick and seven eighths inch wide. Uh, there's going to be 12 in total, three for the inside stem and three for the outside stem on each end of the boat, so 12 in total. In order to make my inside and outside stems perfectly mated to one another, I steamed them all at the same time. I used a rubber band to keep them in order. That way when they came out of the steam box, I could quickly get them onto the molds and clamped in position. Just to give you an idea of how quickly you need to move when you're steam bending, I'm gonna show my second bend here in real time. For this phase of the project, organization is key. You need to have your clamps ready, set to the thickness you're gonna need for clamping down the stems to the mold station. I use some quick clamps to get them into rough position and then I came back with some more substantial clamps later. I think I ended up using almost every clamp in my entire shop. You can never have too many clamps. I actually opted to steam a seventh piece of wood for each stem and that piece just served as a sacrificial piece. So I thought I did a great job. I was pretty proud of myself but one of my stems had significant spring back and a couple of cracks so I decided to just redo the whole thing. I followed the same process but the second time around I reread canoe craft and decided to follow their instructions to the T. So I drilled a hole in each end of the stem, used some rope I had laying around to tie the two ends together, which will form kind of a bow and arrow shape, and then I gave it an additional 24 hours to dry. After 48 hours, it was time to glue up my stems with the epoxy. I'm using West System. Uh, it's really great. They have these little screw-on pumps, and it's literally pre-measured. One pump of the epoxy, one pump of the hardener, and you're set. For applying my epoxy, I put a piece of blue painter's tape between my inside and outside stem just to ensure that I didn't glue them together. I used a little bit of the West Systems filler to thicken my epoxy and make it more of a glue tech. I simply brush this on to both mating surfaces and then I'm just clamping it back onto the stem mold station for another 24 hours. After 24 hours, I mark the appropriate ends of my inside stem and cut them to size. We've steam bent and glued up the stems. As you can see, I've attached the inner stem here to the stem mold. Uh, for the sake of not making a bunch of really small videos and making a couple of larger videos of, of substance, uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip. So according to Canoe Craft, you would steam bend and then glue up the stems. Then you would set up, set up all your station molds and then come back to the stem to shape this up. So for the sake of this video, uh, consider this a break in the video. And then I'm gonna go ahead and shape up these stems. And the reason for that is that as these planks are coming off the stem molds, if you just leave them squared off, there's only gonna be one real small point of contact on this stem. So we need to soften this edge and Canoe Craft says you wanna leave a 1 8 leading edge on this front stem to make sure we have maximum surface area for gluing on the, uh, the cedar strips. Here we go. Hopefully this point of view will give you an idea of why we need to soften that inside stem to uh, increase the surface area of our inside stem and our cedar strips. So I grabbed an adjustable square and I marked a 1 8 leading edge on my inside stem. Uh, not terribly difficult. Then I began by grabbing my spoke shave, taking a couple shavings, and then constantly checking that shape uh, compared to where my cedar strips are going to come off the station mold. Shave some more off, check again, shave some more off, check again. You get the idea. With the sharp spoke shave, this can be a pretty fun process. It is a relatively new tool to me, so I'm not great with it. I ended up doing my finer shaping with a random orbital sander and then also a chisel. I found that the chisel is actually my best tool for this process. Canoe Craft recommends that you only shape maybe the first six or eight inches of the stem. The angle of the inside stem is gonna change as the angle of the strips coming off the station mold changes. So I finished about six to eight inches and called it good. Next time, we're gonna be attaching the station molds, and then finally we'll be able to add on some strips. See you next time. 